is Mauricio Alanis, and uh, this is 2311-2309 Scarf Street. Uh, it's a two-story Queen Anne Victorian built in 1895, and it was a residence of Mr. Dennis Burkhalter, who was the superintendent of the Southern Pacific Railroad. Well, on the compass, it's normal outside of the gate, but on the other side of the gate, it'll it'll fluctuate. It's a, being affected by some kind of a magnetic field, obviously, um, and it's focused here because it's not so much over there. It's not so much over there. Yeah, but that's that's it. The control box is right there, and it plugs in under the house. So I was looking for an explanation for this. Whoa! Yeah, as soon as you pass over the gate, mm -hmm. it's only across the walkway though, it's not doing it over the grass. You mentioned about the electronics, the, uh, as far as I know, this is where it stops, because these are electrically controlled, but that's, that's it. There shouldn't be anything past here. When you first moved in here, did you have a feeling it was haunted, and what was your first experience? Well, actually, the first time I moved in here, you know, I'd heard stories that the property was haunted. You know, it was kind of like a little bit of a legend um, that, you know, this whole block was actually haunted. But um, I actually didn't experience anything until later. Um, after I'd been living here for a while, you know, I started noticing little things happening here and there, you know. and. Um, you know, objects kind of moving on their own. Uh, just feelings that I got, you know, I'm usually really, I can usually pick up things pretty well and I just noticed that there was something kind of different about this property. And uh, I've been here since about 1997 and to this day, you know, things happen here and there that, you know, I just can't explain. Turn off the light if you guys want. No, that's okay. okay. They, it, it doesn't matter to them, it doesn't matter to us. Cool. They, they travel just as well in, in the light. Yeah. What is the address here? It's 2311. 2311. Correct. And that's 2309 next door. Like this, uh, the other door to the upstairs. You know, okay. since, since the house was, I guess it was split up, so. So these two were connected before? Yeah, and I think the entry, the entrance is somewhere right here. And it was Scarf? Correct, yeah. Scarf Street. Is there anywhere that we shouldn't be going? Yeah, um, one of the rooms that I have my roommates in there, so don't go in there. <laughs>
Do you get a lot of cold spots in here? Not that much. Once in, once in a great while, it'll just cut kind of like, like, oh, what is that? It's just like, just like chill. a draft. Yeah, you kind of like a chill, yeah, with a draft. Is it okay? Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, because she's going to do some Mine just has a normal half function. Yeah, let me go ahead and close that for you. Oh, I see. Okay. Excuse me. That way you guys can get some good uh, EVPs. Yeah, we will. Did you guys get anything on the EVPs last time? Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, you didn't? No. Oh, that's a shame. But that's not, you know, a, a lot of times it takes a while to get, you know, some kind of EVP, you know, positive result. Right. We don't always get it on the first attempt. Well, you know, that's cool. I was just like, oh, I hope they got some EVPs. I want to hear what these guys got to say. Because <laughs> you never know, I mean. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because you don't know. Yeah, let me show you where the basement is. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to place it somewhere in the bedroom. And you might want to see it before you turn it on. You know, times that it's gonna who, I, what, when, why. Yeah, so. kind of basic ones, basic. not ones where they would need, you know, like a long answer. Yeah. Like okay. short, short ones. Um, what happened to you, or do you need help? Something where they can be yeah, like a yes or no. Or okay, or like yes or no answers. Right, yeah. or two or three, you know, word answers. Yeah. I heard some of your EVPs on your website. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? We've been doing this for three years, and that's about all we've had. So you can see there's not a great there, response. It's hard. I mean, I've tried to do EVPs before, you know, just here and there, you know, whatnot, yeah. but I haven't really picked up much, you know, so. And also when you're in a location and you have background noises mm -hmm. and you're really not sure what it is when you're listening to it and you can't be 100% sure, so that's automatically discarded, mm -hmm. you know, and... So that's why I try to tell them it's very important, like, if there's another person in the room or a cough or sneeze or something, to make yeah. a note of that. Because right. when you go to listen to it later, you know, chances mm -hmm. are you're not going to remember and you may think that it's something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know you're not allowed down there. Come on. I think she might have saw an orga down there or something. Yeah. Did she see something? Yeah. I thought she followed something. I've seen her. In the video I have, I have her following stuff all around the place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wherever you want to down there. Okay. I think I noticed that we have to watch her in the batteries. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, 801. The address is 2309 or 2311 Scarf Street, Los Angeles. And it's uh, May 29th, 2003, 801 p.m. Okay, I'm placing it down. Okay, it's securely resting. Okay. Really? So it's pretty much almost done. Yeah, yeah. I think after tonight. Uh, let's just put it this way. They were marking their territory all over, all over the house. I got five dogs, I know. Really? Yeah. I'm walking towards the microphone. Oh, yeah, they carry them and they get possessive over them and they want to play with them. Yeah, it's like having kids. They want to play with them. Yeah. Oh, right. Right there with you. Yeah. Looks like there's 
an old uh, sink in there. Looks like there's spider web or Possibly something. Like that. Did you feel spider webs back here? Yeah, I felt okay. something on me, but I didn't see any spider webs. Yeah, I think it's I spider like, webs because I see them here. See, it's right there. Yeah, I felt it touch my hair. Yeah, I felt the spider webs right here on my arm. Actually, it might be a spider web. You see a spider web? I don't see one, but I mean, you know how. Can you see one of my elbow right there? I just saw one of me. See a spider web? You feel one, but you don't. Oh, I felt it. I mean, I just brushed my nose. I could feel it. And when I brushed it, I could feel it pull my hair. I don't see a spider web. Do you guys? I know. I felt something. I remember when I asked you before? I was all yeah. What was that? I was weird. <laughs> I feel like a total energy on this arm right here. Like, I'm moving it around, usually I can feel like in the back. See the hair on the back of my arm? My, my, my tricep? I'll head back up. That is weird though. Yeah. It's like just There's braise your whip there and the light. I just felt something right here. It's pretty steep, but just braise your hand through the air and I see mean, if you feel There's spider whips, but they're not like, there's a lot of them everywhere. I mean, if you guys, if you want to step over here, I totally just feel like I call in this area right here. You know what? I mean, just step here and see what you see, what you feel. Like, closer in. No. They really get stuck under the house. It definitely is weird down here. I'd be like, come on in. Or come on out. <laughs> it's an adventure. It's, it's still down here, too. Steep. It is. The cat's still down there? Yeah. yeah I'll have the EVP down there. I'll leave the cat down there. You never yeah. know. They might react. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he can stay down there. I'll just kind of keep it closed. You feel like there's one there? Yeah, we felt like spider webs on us down there. Really? Like, we didn't really see any spider webs. No, there, I mean, it's. You don't get too many. Most of you only get them up here, the cockwebs, but that's kind of weird. So you felt like something. Yeah, no, it wasn't. At first, I felt it in my hair. Uh huh. And another guy felt it on his arm. Really? Yeah, the, that guy felt it on his arm. And then. Like it was weird, like, I honestly couldn't explain it. So tell me about Gracie the ghost, let's hear really quick. She's really nice, and she used to tell me stories. I've been living here all my life. She'd sit down on the porch and tell me stories. And she was a really good person. She's just a little bitter and angry. So she's kind of protective about who is around this place. So maybe the wall shake once in a while. Maybe, you know, things happen. That shouldn't happen, but it's just her kind of testing you out. That's crazy. She's a good person, though. Good soul, good spirit. Thank Bye. You always notice kind of stuff like that. You know, one time I was, she was out of town and I wasn't here watching a movie and uh, all of a sudden this started. Doing that, I don't think all the neighbors upstairs are doing laundry. Hey, they're all at work, aren't they? You know, I go back there, the washing machine's not going. We didn't have one at the time, I was broke. So, um, I'm like, okay, maybe it's a VCR. I turn off everything, turn off the VCR, and TV and DVD player and everything. I'm like, no, oh, it's still going. You know, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm. I'm I just said, you know, why don't you just quit it? <laughs> you know, just stop. And the thing actually stopped moving. I'm like, oh, isn't that kind of funky? You know? And what about that one time that you saw the cup or the candle holder or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a cup on, like, one of the coffee tables. We had a coffee table at the time. And the glass was just going, like, shaking and shaking. I was, like, holding the table. I'm like, okay. I didn't know. I don't know. I only did it for a little bit and it stopped. But I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and another time, I actually ran into somebody that used to live in the house. Uh -huh. It was a former tenant, and they um, they told me, you know, they're like, oh, you know, how's it going? You live here? I'm like, yeah, I live here. You know, how's the house? Is it for sale? 
Uh, the house isn't for sale. She's not, you know, the owner's not selling. She's like, yeah, I know her. I used to live in this house before, you know, with her. I guess, you know, they were roommates or something. And uh, she's like, do you guys still hear weird noises in the house and people walking outside? I'm like, well, I haven't actually heard anybody walking outside, you know, when there was nobody there. But I've heard weird noises and, you know, just experienced weird little things here and there. You know, once I actually felt like a presence of some sort touched me on the back of the shoulder. <laughs> And here's the stand for the next Okay. Time. And then just put on record okay. when it's down there. Any logical, just central spot? Or, uh, yeah. Or maybe like a couple of temperature thingies? Like that. Yeah. Okay, and if you can, um, when you right when you turn it on record, mm -hmm. if you could, do you have a watch? I have my, yeah, I can, I can do the time. Okay, the time in the basement. Okay. And let you know the location. All right. orb on this though down here. Did it move? It went across the bottom of the screen. It was like right after I came down here. Looks like their lamp is gone. Down there? It's not a lot of room for a lot of people to know. Yeah, it's pretty small. Oh, I need to get out there. I was going to close the windows, but then, yeah, it's not even helping to help. It's just hot. Because usually it's pretty cool right now. The first experience that I can think of that was really concrete was when I was in my little office slash bedroom with my roommate and we were just having a conversation about Surprisingly enough about paranormal phenomena, UFOs, uh, that kind of stuff like that, and my cat had jumped onto the computer chair right behind my back, and he, something frightened him because he hissed, and there was no other cats in the room, there was nobody else in the room but us. He jumped and left, you know, he clawed me in the back while he did that. Um, soon after that, my roommate said that he felt somebody touch him in the back of the shoulder exactly where the cat had scratched me and that was maybe less than a minute after it happened and um, from what I understand is that the one of the ladies that used to live in this house was a nurse and you know maybe we kind of connected the two and said hey maybe you know she was trying to make sure I was okay um, and then after that you know the experience has followed but there's always been this feeling that there's something else here besides us. One time when I was in here with our other roommate, who the one who's in that room, you know, the one I had told you that kind of off, I guess, off a little off limits, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, he was in here before we had a futon in this part right here. He was sitting on the futon, I was sitting on the chair, the cat was on the back of my chair, the cat jumped out, jumped, jumped off, clawed me in the shoulders, and um, what ended up happening is that somebody, it seemed like somebody touched his shoulder where the cat clawed me. What's it like to live with ghosts? It's actually not too bad. I mean, they don't really get in my way. Um, they basically just make their presence known to me if I'm not acknowledging them, if I don't pay attention to them, or if I kind of forget they're here. Every major experience that we've had after that particular incident, um, well, actually including that one, has been when we haven't been paying attention to everything else, when we've been you know, really into conversation or watching TV. We don't really watch TV very much here, but when, you know, a few times that we have, um, something happens, you know. Uh, another time, and I was telling them, you know, I was 
I think it's what she talked about the stereo of this room. We were in here watching a movie mm -hmm. on our entertainment system that's in the living room, it used to be here. And all of a sudden, we were eating, the room got cold mm -hmm. all of a sudden, and that's when the stereo incident happened. Okay. So that's, that's pretty much it. And I, I was also saying sometimes when I'm engrossed in my work, mm -hmm. all of a sudden get the feeling that, uh, you know, I just get that chill, the chills feeling, you know, like, hey, you know, kind of feel something here. Right. Now, you said that happens while you watch television. Do you uh, do you ever get experiences where the channel is just changing or something? Oh, I we've had the TV turn off on its own. You know, I'll be watching the TV and the blink turns off, and I'm looking. Well, you know, I don't think there's any other infrared sources in here. And I'm like, well, you know, it's just kind of foggy. But they do. The television has turned off on its own. I know. I'm no, my cats love it. All the attention. When I was standing in the um, computer room, the hallway, just going in it, there was a the bottom of my calf right here. There was like pressure, like someone was pushing. It. Yeah, I saw it right behind the door. Something That's where I saw it too. Did you see or feel? I, I saw it before I went there, and then she was asking about the meter going off, and when we came back this way, I thought you were pushing my back, but you weren't even close to me. I'm going to could you tell me about the bedroom closet right there, and what do you think there's so much uh, activity with people? Um, I don't know. I mean, maybe there was some, I mean, for all I know, there could be something hidden in that area that I just don't know about. Because right when I came through the door, mm -hmm. and I was standing there, right on the back of my calf, right here, mm -hmm. I just felt like a ball like, of pressure, like... Mm. I don't want to say someone's hand because it didn't feel like a hand, but it was like someone was pushing, something was pushing on my leg. leg, yeah. I can't think of any real reason why they like that particular area, but whenever I've taken photographs or Christina's taken photographs, you know, things show up, so I, 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 really, I don't really have an explanation for that. Like people get grabbed there and pulled in, or like you get experiences of people getting touched? Or... I've... I don't think I've experienced anything there myself. I mean, nobody else has really mentioned it to me. Well, I think this, that there was a, I think there's ghost animals or something because mm -hmm. I was talking about the cats and she goes, oh yeah, that's one of the real ones. Yeah. So, I, I, I feel the hot spot in this is the bedroom. Yeah. I was also getting some more activity in this living room, but some odd things I felt something in my hair and I had D take a picture and that was right there. So there's something about that area that I think there's a picture of one of the cats chasing something looking at something on the floor. It's in that area right there. Just that whole bedroom seems to be pretty active. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know why. We've noticed a lot of touching in that bedroom. And I was asking questions in there. Oh, you were going? Yeah. Good. Did it feel like a human hand touch you or did it feel like a spider web? No, it definitely wasn't a spider web. It wasn't like a string feel. No, it was more no. like a... It was too wide for that kind of a feel. Mm -hmm. What area? No, we can see if you can. This is exactly where I was standing when my hair was pulled. And I had uh, told Dee that I felt something, you know, pulling my hair, and she took a picture and got an orb up above me. But I was in the same area. So what exactly did it feel like? It felt like a brush, like as if almost like when someone kind of just would kind of, you know. I didn't brush necessarily feel like fingers. It didn't mm -hmm. feel like fingers. Felt like more when someone kind of walks by you and your your mm -hmm. arms kind of touch each other. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yeah, this is the same room where uh, one of the, the the girl who was working on camera last time she felt something in this room. Yeah, she got touched too, huh? Yeah. Where was it at? I can't remember. So maybe it's a man and he has something to do with females, you know? It could be. Yeah. I was getting. I had gotten a couple orbs on the bed that were coming actually off of the mattress there, the, the middle of it, and kind of went 
I've never actually. I've heard what sounded like, you know, whispering. And you know, when I go try and find out what it was, it would stop. You know, like I heard like whispering over here, and I'd come out. And we were right in the middle of a conversation, and he heard someone say, "Are you living here now?" Just for that. And then when oh, I said that, she said, oh, there's a picture of, of a woman with a child um, in the mirror in the room just before going up the attic. What doors seem to open and close? All of the doors. Um, just... It doesn't matter? How about this door? Yeah, well, yeah. She said that, like, she could hear this door open and close and then that one open and close, like the person who was, you know... Coming and getting something. Yeah. She, she could hear it. Somebody moving furniture and breathing really heavy. Yeah, what's hands. your hand doing? That's kind of really I'm creepy. Standing there. Oh There's my god. Hands. There's, There's two hands. I never noticed that. I never noticed that. Whoa. I didn't notice either. That's fucking There's weird. weird stuff. Nothing like, else is double chunk out of her arm right there. <laughs> but you can see the door being. Yeah, oh. it looks really solid, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't like it look like it's almost like a, just like a solid line? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it and could just this be angled. two hand, because it's not like you had it on time exposure, right? You really no, can't do that with a digital camera, right? I've right. the pictures of this So this is before. super creepy. Look at this one. Yeah. Or, yeah. My face is all messed Yeah, her face is all weird looking right How there. So it was a digital camera, so it wasn't like a double exposure on, on film or anything. There's more yeah. That orb right there. But see, look at her hand. What's interesting is you can maybe think like it wasn't focused, but her hand, that is a totally different. It's a you different, could, yeah. You couldn't explain that it's out as focused. Right, and the camera just has, I guess it's focused to at infinity. You get, there's no way to adjust the focus on it, and yeah. it just, it's not movable. You can't, the only zoom available on it also the is just digital like, zoom. It's auto focus. Like fake, mm -hmm. yeah. Look at the hand. It looks like an old bony hand kind yeah. of. Yeah. So if you had any activity in... Well, besides the stereo in this room, those orb things that I told you about that I saw in those photos, mm -hmm. they were right here, okay. and right there, and right over there, like like right in this area right here. And I can show you those photos. Like, in fact, I can burn them for you if you want. You know, okay, so you yeah, that would be great. Um, then should we? The fam. Yeah, you want me to turn it off? Is it maybe giving yeah, a PMF or anything be, like that? Yeah, that would be that would be good. Just for temp, you know, oh. temperature. I just, uh, I'm not really picking up anything, just a little bit of glare off the lights. Yeah. It could be, it could be from them, no, it can't be from them walking upstairs. No, that, there's no attic above this room. This is an addition to the house. Okay. I mean, even if the, the beams aren't even connected since it's been. Since it's an addition, the beams of the roof it's are not the, uh, connected. It's walking on the floor. I can feel something really faint in my... Deep? Can you take a photo over here in this area. Did you pick up something over there? So I caught one. Yeah. It felt like there was something in my hair. Yeah, she was in the glove. I, th I thought there might have been something hanging, mm -hmm. but I didn't see anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, um, you might want to take you know, several in this area because I'm getting readings um, at the foot of the bed. All the cats in this house Except for hers, this one right here, and the cats upstairs as well, they they all tend to do that. They go into dark rooms and they meow, they, there's particular spots they're attracted to. They're really attracted to the corners of the rooms. They stare at the corners. Mm -hmm. They sit there forever, yeah. Look at this one. Ooh, that one looks super cool. Like, hmm, what's that? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I took that picture and I was trying to get their attention and they kept, they would not look at me. 
What is up with the cats here? Do you think they see ghosts all the time, or what do you think that they're interacting with? Well, they definitely see things that we don't. Um, their vision's a little different from ours. They, um, their sense of hearing is a little more defined, and you know they pick up certain frequencies that our ears can't. So, if there's something else there that you know we can't hear, then I'm sure they do. Uh, they've chased things, like I said, we've taken pictures of them chasing things and we've found orbs in the photos and, you know, trails of things that we can't see and it's not just light trails, I mean, they're actually paying attention to the objects in the photo. So, uh, I, I think that they know that there's something going on in here, you know, they just obviously can't talk, so, you know, they can't really tell me, but they do make it, you know, pretty vocal that something's going on, I think. It's like following something. Do you know what cat eyesight looks like? What would it look like? You know? Well, from what I understand from a scientific viewpoint, they probably have very little color vision. It's mainly black and white and a little more acute than ours. It's not necessarily as sharp as ours, but they can definitely see things that are glowing much less brightly than what we can see. They have an extra layer in the back of their eye behind the cornea that actually reflects light back, so they get twice the light that they would normally get, you know, one coming in and then whatever's bouncing off that layer. So I'm guessing it would kind of be like a, you know, like a military starlight scope or like a night shot camera kind of thing. So it's, it's probably a little more cute than ours. So I can say that. Do you ever experience anything in the hallway here? Um, no, but the cats do, apparently. <laughs> they, they do? Uh, they uh, hang out here a lot, and when, especially when it's dark. They mm -hmm. meow at things that uh, we can't see. Oh, yeah, look at that. weird. See, look, it looks like there's another pair of lips right here or something, maybe. That is so weird. Yeah. And it's a digital camera, mm -hmm. right? So it's not film that was double no. exposed. No, no, it's digital. <laughs> wow. Grainy, but... And then there, I zoomed in on some of that stuff, and... Yeah, yeah look at that. <gasps> little Looks like it's almost got a face uh -huh. or something right there. That's what I some thought. Horns. <laughs> yeah, um, here's another one over here. Actually, look at this one. This is the one I took next to the cat. Uh, we had noticed it's at the heater. Oh, yeah. Well, it feels warm up here, but... I can't imagine this being on top of it. The heater, uh, she, she up, reminded yeah. me about that the heater gets turned up like, all the way. Turn the heater up again. No, I haven't touched the heater. You know, I don't like it that hot. Yeah, I remember. Right, I had it at just a moment ago when the kids got, it went up to 80 degrees. Here? Right in that area. The refrigerator, too, gets turned down. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre. I think it's frozen, and I get mad. I'm like, I think it's the guys. No. Four point five. Right there, 
six point six point five. Start on the pink here. Yeah, what's on the other side? It's still picking it up. Let's see if I get this. So what would you say that might be like? It's still on the same side on this side. So, yeah, but I don't see anything electrical. See, there is right here, but even being on top of it, it's only like a 1.2. Maybe it's an unshielded wire. Right here, 1.8. There's another plug on that side. There's a pipe. Well, this is a guess. Oh, so. Not much really electrical going on in here. Whoa, 15.3. There's got to be something yeah, like something in the wall. Yeah. Wow, okay. What'd you get? <laughs> Did you get a magnetic reading? Some detail in there yeah, too. It's like fairies it. or something. <laughs> <laughs> sort of light? Yeah. And these stairs are really, really steep, so if you're coming down, be careful. This is the trunk that belongs to who I think the ghost is. It's almost like a Almost like a hard to breathe pressure. So it's coming from down there to up here. Did you ever find like any old like inscriptions or like scribblings from like an old child who lived here and maybe scribbled some or chiseled something into a wood or something like that? I myself haven't. Um, my upstairs neighbors, they did go into the attic one time and they found a trunk full of stuff that I had I had completely missed and I you know I've, I've been here long before they they moved in and I've been up in the attic and I didn't really find anything you know I was like actually looking around for something like that you know I looked for that I looked for that in the basement I mean I found an old trunk in the basement like under the house like part of one I think you guys were here to try to pull it out but um, it was empty and uh, but they found some papers some photos and everything stuff that I wish I could have found but <laughs> It's all um, neatly organized now, because it was it was kind of a disaster, and so we sort of went through and organized everything. So we just organized like these are all of Margaret's checks, which I found find fascinating. But you can pretty much find out when she died from these. I think 1926 was the last. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. And then, I look at stuff. Yeah. I think that's from the second owner. I'm surprised you could miss the trunk up there. Because the way the attic is, it's pretty open, you know? Right. So that's surprising to me in a way. Do you know how it was hidden? Or? I don't know. I just, what I was told is that they found a photo and you know, some stuff, you know, like checks or something like that. Yeah, I've seen it. She opened it over there. Mm. It was a pretty big trunk. Wow. It was in the, they have it in the middle of the attic. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's the one that's up there in the attic. Yeah. yeah. I did, honestly, I didn't even see it. I mean, I found old, like, monopoly games from people that were out there, you know, maybe like an old lamp here and there, a couple of torch lamps that somebody had decided yeah. to stash up there. Do you have anything by my left side? Yes, big word. Yeah. Left to the left. It was tickling my side, like down, like towards my waist. Before that, got a little mist. Right yeah, that's there. right, right around where it was flowing. Kind of picked that up real quick. A little mist by his side where he was feeling tickling sensation. Where is that exactly? It's right there to the uh, left of the screen. See that's a little fuzzy right there around his waist. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a pretty big, huh? 
yep. Then when you first set it, I caught it was zipping up real quick. So you can see a large orb up top there, zipping away. Mm -hmm. So when you first felt it. Mm. <laughs> I've been photoshopping those things out of my pictures. I didn't know what they were. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Now I know. I almost feel like they just want to take a nap up here. Hmm. The girl who used to live downstairs said she's had very weird experiences up here. I yeah. think she said she passed out up here, but I, I don't know. I wasn't living here at the time. So, so that watch out for that whole nap feeling <laughs> that you have. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's a very relaxing up here. Nothing. <laughs> it's your bad luck. <laughs> try, try behind me. To my upper left. You got it. How can you call these things out? A little receptive today. So, what did you just catch right there, above me? Just, just an orb. Can you explain what happened? Like how he called it out and everything? Yep. You, you should ask, ask him. him. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're finding attic very interesting. You should take pictures of the house next door. That oh, like that house that is weird. Yeah, yeah that one's <laughs> creepy. Yeah. I've been stuff. in that house. I've Have been in the house you? next door. And I tried to get in. The owner wouldn't let me in. <laughs> Well, I Stephanie him talked nice. him in, talked him into it. Yeah, and he regretted it. <laughs> no, he's just like he goes as soon as he walked in the house. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay, we went in there. The room upstairs. Uh huh. You know the one that faces yeah, your your dining yeah. room. Freezing. Uh huh. The room is freezing, yeah. and he he wouldn't go into that room. Yeah. And he w really didn't want us to go into that room either. Yeah. But he's all like, oh, you know, just I don't want you guys to go in there, right? You know, it's, yeah. it's messy. It uh -huh. wasn't messy. <laughs> I just think he didn't want us to go in there, yeah. but it was pretty bizarre. So it's cold when you walk around that house. There's warm and cold. Spots. There are. There are right in the outside, right yeah. in between the two houses. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's cold spots right there sometimes. Down here, I feel it very strong. There's still a bit of a breeze here, but that's things going pretty crazy. It's kind of like Oh yeah, that's that's that house. Um, I've had a few people tell me that something's up with that house. Yeah. Brian's girlfriend said that too. Oh. Yeah, and for our friend Brian, he's not from. I mean, he doesn't live here anymore. He has a. Uh, is that like an old screen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's an old screen. The one that's always open. Yeah. Yeah. Who owns it? Uh, this man, this guy Ralph owns this house. Uh, he owns a bunch of the old properties here.